We're yeah. right on the yeah, line. Yeah, right. Because I have most of my older libraries, like OG Xbox, Xbox 360. This was going to be the thing that would take me over the edge. Mm -hmm. But I'm not going to do that now. But this, so, like, yeah. I'm so, because obviously, um, you know, Spencer's out there saying we're going to have the, the proper update next week. They were working on announcing this anyway. It's how, it, it's how it ended up leaking in advance. But like, how the hell do you navigate that messaging? Like to say like, hey, it's cool. Our exclusives are going to be available on other systems. So you don't need an Xbox to play these games. What is your bit after that that says, but still care about us? I think the one is up their sleeve is still Game Pass. It's yeah. still the value of that because yeah, you can now maybe play Indiana Jones on PlayStation, but it's gonna cost you 70 quid, you mm -hmm. know? I think their allure to their console and their sort of ecosystem will be, all of these things are gonna be multi-platform mm -hmm. and they're probably gonna spin that as, we're the good guys, we're looking after the consumer, we don't wanna lock our games up. We're and for I, the gamers. Yeah, we're for the gamers. <laughs> um, but then they're gonna say, you know, oh, but we're, you should still buy an Xbox because all of these games from all yeah. of these publishers and these great developers will be day one game pass and it'll cost you 15 quid a month as opposed to forking out 70 quid um, for the competition's software.